Hey, what's going on guys? John here, and today I wanted to do a video review for the Rokat Sova keyboard. So in this video, I'll walk you through my experience using this keyboard, um, go through all the mechanicals of it, and just give you some idea of what to expect if you're considering buying one. So I actually originally picked this up because I was building a home theater-based PC right around the time VR was originally being introduced. And I absolutely love the idea of being able to play some games on the couch, I would even have friends come over and we'd set up a couple tables in our family room. They would set up their laptops and I would be able to play on our 65 inch TV. Now, one thing with this particular keyboard is that you do have um, you know, this basically large, large mouse pad here on the right side. This gives you the ability to have plenty of space while gaming on the couch. You have more or less a full size keyboard here outside of the extra numpad buttons, which I personally think for most of you, if you're gonna be utilizing this, it's most likely gonna, gonna be using WASD while gaming or probably number buttons. You have some additional buttons here and all the F1, F, F, uh, F12 keys that you can utilize. Um, you have the Rokat branding here. They've got their cool like logo here in the right. So the overall look and feel of the keyboard is really nice. You do have a connector here, which I actually taped up because what was happening is if someone were to trip on the wires or anything like that, that would cause an issue. So I taped this together and these cables are actually very hard to find. Um, it's not like a super common thing. You could necessarily go to Rokat and say, hey, I need a new cable. Um, it's unique to this keyboard. So you have a small um, cable that comes out and then that connects to the main wire. And then that then has two USB um, cables that then connect into the PC. Now we have cats in our household and you can actually see they started to chew this up and that became very concerning to me knowing that the cable wasn't something that was easily reproduced. So I actually put this special, um, it's almost just like a plastic that goes over the entire wire and then that would hopefully help mitigate the issues with the cats chewing on the wires and destroying this. You can even see they started chewing on the actual plastic itself, which basically prevented the wire from getting further damage. So overall, um, you know, this has worked out well, but just do keep that in mind that the wire isn't something that's easily replaceable. Um, I have had some issues with it, um, which I think are related to some of these chew marks. Um, and this is just something I'm gonna have to source as we go into this. Now, further going into the keyboard, on the bottom side of the keyboard, you actually have these large pads, um, which can be removed. So these are really, really nice while it's on your lap, um, just provides that extra comfort. You're not having this large plastic hunk just kind of sitting on your lap. This really provides some nice padding either going on your legs or maybe even on a table or whatever it is so you're not gonna scuff up the bottom. Now, um, flipping this around, you do have two additional USB ports as well. So for any reason, um, the first probably being a mouse, you're gonna plug a actual wired mouse into the base here, and then you could even plug in a second peripheral, and that's why there's two connections on the end of the main cable. Overall, I've been pretty happy with this. Um, I used it now, I've probably had this going on about four years, and um, generally, um, it hasn't been too much of an issue. The mouse pad works really well. All the keys and everything have been very responsive. There's software that you can get from Rokat that actually allows you to customize some of this. It does light up with like a very light RGB, but it's nothing super over, over the top. Um, but yeah, overall, very, very happy with it. And I think if you're gonna be gaming on the couch, this is like pretty much a no-brainer. Um, I know that nowadays some people might go for like a wireless option, but if you want something that's gonna be extremely reliable and it's not gonna be a big deal to you to have the wire running across the room, this definitely would be the way to go. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video review and I hope you guys found this helpful.